Hi everyone, I'm Sheriff Jim Fredericks, and I'm looking for your help to bring wanted persons to justice. The Sheriff's Office works hard to keep our community safe, and this is your chance to join me in locating people actively sought by law enforcement. So get ready, you're about to go around Anne Arundel County with me on the lookout. Hi everyone, I'm Sheriff Jim Fredericks. And thank you for joining me for the second segment of On the Lookout. We have a show packed full of individuals who are wanted by law enforcement. These may be people you know, just met or bump into during your day-to-day -day travels. If you recognize a name, a face, or an address, contact our warrant tip line number. You'll see it at the bottom of your screen throughout the program. It's 410 Lookout or 410-566-5688. Before we jump to different parts of the county, here's a quick reminder. If you see or hear the term FTA, that's someone who has failed to appear in court. If you see or hear the term VOP, that is someone who has had a warrant issued against them for violating the terms of their probation, which is the agreement they made with the court upon their release from jail. Lastly, we continue bringing you information from the four districts of our county, north, south, east, and west. All right, let's get to work and go on the lookout. Pushing off from the northern part of the county, our first wanted subject is Marcos Pop Coy. He's a 39-year-old Hispanic male, black hair, brown eyes, 5'6", 155 pounds. Pop Coy is wanted for rape, sex offense, and child abuse. His last known address is 5201 Brookwood Road in Brooklyn. The next wanted person is Dwayne Lee Robinson. He's a 37-year-old African-American male, black hair, brown eyes, six feet tall, and 226 pounds. Robinson is wanted for second-degree assault and child abuse. After the school reported a suspicious neck injury on a student to police, an investigation ensued, and Robinson was charged with child abuse and assault. His last known address is 232 Nathan Way in Glen Burnie. Our next wanted person is Terrence Andrew Ballou. He's an 18-year-old Caucasian male, red hair, green eyes, 5'11 and 150 pounds. Ballou was wanted for armed robbery, assault, theft, firearm use during a felony or violent crime, and a handgun on his person. Ballou and two associates approached a subject who was familiar with them and took his bicycle by threat of force. Ballou was in possession of a handgun at the time of the theft. A week later, Ballou and crew jumped the victim a second time. During this interaction, they openly displayed a handgun, punched and threatened to kill him before stealing a, a second bicycle from him. Ballou's last known address is 7835 Shelley Road in Glen Burnie. The next subject is Christine Marie Bennett. She's a 54-year-old Caucasian female, red hair, green eyes, 5'7", 120 pounds. Bennett is wanted for false statement to an officer, theft under $100, and for failing to appear on her prior theft, CDS possession, and malicious destruction of property cases. During 2016, Bennett was found guilty on a prior theft charge. She violated the terms of probation in that case during 2017 and failed to appear for court in 2018. In the meantime, she's picked up additional warrants for false statement to an officer and for the theft under $100. After lying about her identity, when she was charged after a shoplifting spree. Her last known address is 811 Barkwood Road in Glen Burnie. Our next subject is Michael Oscar Aiken. He's a 28-year-old African-American male, brown hair, brown eyes, 5'8", 147 pounds. Aiken is wanted for second-degree assault and fourth-degree burglary. Here's the story. Aiken entered his neighbor's apartment without permission grabbed the neighbor by his neck and stated, you don't know who you're messing with. I will kill you. Aiken then fled the scene before police arrived. 
His last known address is 416 Pamela Road, Apartment B in Glen Burnie. In Southern District, our first wanted subject is Cornelius Wood Alexander. He's a 48-year-old Caucasian male, brown hair, brown eyes, 6 feet tall, 240 pounds. Alexander has a warrant for theft, burglary, and malicious destruction of property. Alexander has seven prior arrests for breaking in to air and vacuum machines at gas stations and convenience stores. On May 21st, he was added again and was caught on a surveillance camera at the Edgewater Shell Station. He was using a personal vacuum to suck coins out of the broken and poorly secured gas station machine. Alexander has a new warrant for theft, malicious destruction of property, and fourth degree burglary. His last known address is 79 Cougar Circle in Lothian. The next subject is Benjamin Aaron Norris. He's a 30 year old Caucasian male brown hair, brown eyes, six foot three and 160 pounds. Norris has a warrant for fourth degree burglary and attempted fourth degree burglary. Here's his story. Norris was identified repeatedly trespassing on his mother's property and entering the house without permission. On one occasion, he went so far as to remove shelves from a rear window in order to gain access. He now has a fourth degree burglary warrant out for his arrest. Norris's last known address is 4724 Idlewild Road in Shadyside. The next subject is Robert John Tucker. He's a 25-year-old Caucasian male, brown hair, brown eyes, six foot four, 200 pounds. He has a warrant for theft between $100 to $1,500. Here's the story. Tucker moved in with his childhood friend during the winter of 2018, agreeing he would pay $500 a month in rent. Come the following month, no rent was paid. Another month goes by and not only did Tucker jet out of there, but he took his friend's Nintendo Switch game and controller with him. His last known address is 909 Central Avenue East in Edgewater. Our next subject is Dontrell Matthew Peterson. He's a 30 year old Caucasian male, blonde hair, blue eyes, six feet, 180 pounds. Peterson has warrants for failing to appear for his burglary case, failing to appear for trespassing, violating the terms of his probation on his theft scheme case, and theft between $100 and $1,500. Peterson picked up a new warrant while shopping at the Annapolis Target. On two separate occasions, he collected a Bose headset and an HP laptop and walked right past the registers, exiting the store without paying for the items. Additionally, Peterson has multiple warrants for failing to appear and for violation of probation. Peterson's last known address is 20 Riverview Avenue in Annapolis. The next subject is Robert Brian Swager. He is a 63 year old Caucasian male, brown hair, blue eyes, six foot one and 195 pounds. He has a warrant for reckless endangerment. Swager decided to shoot a flare gun over a neighbor's house without regard to safety catching another subject's front lawn on fire. Luckily, the residents were in the backyard of the residence when the flare landed and continued to burn. Swager fled before police arrived. His last known address is 10 Hudson Street in Annapolis.
Moving on to our Eastern District, our first wanted subject is Isaac Joseph Aaron. He is a 42-year-old African-American male, brown hair, brown eyes, 5'9 and 195 pounds. Aaron has a warrant for failure to appear on robbery charges. During 2017, Aaron was found guilty of robbery. He failed to appear at a follow-up hearing during 2018, resulting in a warrant being issued. Aaron's last known address is 80 Glens Road in Severna Park. The next subject is Joseph Kevin Correa. He's a 48-year-old Caucasian male, black hair, brown eyes, 5'8", 170 pounds. Correa has a warrant for second-degree assault. Here's the story. On September 17th of 2018, officers responded to 56 Old Frederick Road for a report of a domestic. Correa and his girlfriend were involved in an altercation during which he knocked the drink out of her hand and grabbed her by the shirt. He's been charged with second-degree assault. Korea's last known address is 51 Old Frederick Road in Arnold. Our next subject is Brian Bernard Kennedy. He's a 38-year-old African-American male, black hair, brown eyes, 5'5", 157 pounds. Kennedy has a warrant for violating conditions of his pretrial release. After being charged with a crime of violence, Kennedy contacted the victim, violating the terms set by the court when he was released from custody. Kennedy's last known address is 1525 Winterberry Drive in Arnold. The next subject is Benjamin Dexter Lowry. He's a 38-year-old Caucasian male, brown hair, blue eyes, 5'8", 150 pounds. Lowry has a warrant for theft between $100 and $1,500. On January 4th of 2019, officers responded to 675 211th Street in Pasadena for a report of a theft. The homeowner stated his leaf blower had been stolen from his shed, which Lowry had been given access to after being hired to do some yard work at the residence. Lowry has additional warrants for failure to appear on a theft less than $1,000 value and for CDS possession, not marijuana. His last known address is 324 Bar Harbor Road in Pasadena. Our next subject is Jonathan Neil Larimore. He's a 26-year-old Caucasian male, brown hair, brown eyes, 5'5", 130 pounds. Larimore has a warrant for violation of probation on his second-degree sex offense case. During 2017, Larimore was found guilty of second-degree sex offense. He fled from a medical facility, failing to complete required treatment, violating the terms of his probation. Larimore's last known address is 1611 Locust Street in Baltimore. In Western District, our first subject is William Ellsworth Matthews. He's a 29-year-old African-American male, black hair, brown eyes, 5'10", 145 pounds. Matthews has a warrant for escape second degree. On March 15th of 2019, Matthews failed to respond to the Ordnance Road Correctional Center for his scheduled weekend commitment. He exceeded the grace period for reporting to confinement and was charged with second degree escape. Matthew's last known address is 1702 Bancroft Lane East in Crofton. Our next subject is Eric William Neal. He is a 38-year-old Caucasian male, brown hair, blue eyes, 5'10", 190 pounds. Neal has a warrant for first-degree burglary. 
Here's his story. Neil was positively identified possessing and using a stolen credit card, which was taken from a residence during a March burglary. He used the stolen credit card on several occasions at businesses in the area and continued attempting to use that card after it was reported stolen and canceled. Neil's last known address is 1787 Holiday Park Road in Gambrels. Our next subject is Stephen Douglas Hockman. He's a 55-year-old Caucasian male, brown hair, green eyes, 5'10", 225 pounds. Hockman has a warrant for second-degree assault and fourth-degree sex offense. While receiving medical attention at the hospital, Hockman exposed his genitalia to a nurse and then groped her. His last known address is 1202 Annapolis Road, apartment F in Odenton. The next subject is Sterling Reed Ledbetter. He's a 58-year-old African-American male, black hair, brown eyes, 6 foot 1, 230 pounds. Ledbetter has a warrant for first and second degree assault. The story goes that Ledbetter pointed a gun at another subject and stated, I should shoot you now and kill you. Ledbetter's last known address is 3563 Fort Meade Road, apartment 424 in Laurel. Our next subject is Alfonso Milton Scott. He's a 31-year-old African-American male, black hair, brown eyes, 5'6 and 230 pounds. Scott has a shocking amount of warrants. Let's count them up. One, attempted murder, assault, reckless endangerment, use of a firearm in a felony or violent crime, a handgun on his person, malicious destruction of property, and second-degree assault. That's one. Numbers two through eight, failing to appear for, seven, for his seven traffic offense cases, then number nine, failing to appear for his child support case. Warrant number 10, failing to appear for his CDS possession and paraphernalia case. Warrant 11, failing to appear for his first degree assault case. During his most recent incident, Scott got involved in a physical altercation at a bar in Pasadena. He exited the bar with a group of males, continued in the physical bar fight, and was observed discharging several rounds from a black-colored firearm towards that group. Several rounds that Scott fired struck nearby vehicles. Thankfully, no one was hit. Scott's last known address is 1823 Blue Jay Court in Severn. Now that we've finished this month's lap around the county, I hope you can help us locate some of these wanted individuals. If you have any information on the subjects highlighted on the show, call the warrant tip line at 410-566-5688. That number again, 410 Lookout. Please remember, do not approach any wanted person you saw on this show. Call the Lookout number and let your Anne Arundel County Sheriff's deputies do their job and get those warrants served. We'll continue to highlight some more subjects online, through social media, and right here on the County Cable Network. To find out more about the Sheriff's Office and to link to our social media platforms, visit our website at www.aacounty.org departments sheriff. Looking forward, we will be bringing you additional episodes that will include guests, provide information and insight into what the Sheriff's Office does, how the deputies perform their jobs, and of course, profile more wanted subjects. Until next time, I'm Sheriff Jim Fredericks, and I'll be seeing you on the lookout.